In today's video, I'll be going over 18 things that should have been added in Siege from the beginning. Now, this is something simple that everybody has been wanting, and it's so obvious, and I don't know why Ubisoft hasn't added this. Queuing for ranked or a matchmaking while playing T-Hunt. You should be able to warm up and do whatever or play any situations and just in the little side, you know, it cues you for ranked. And say you get a ranked game, what happens then? You should be able to evade the banning process of the operators and maps and all that whatnot and just be able to still play because i'm not gonna lie a lot of times people just go afk and sit on tiktok the entire time while operator banning and map banning is going on don't get me wrong i do it too because it's honestly not enjoyable it, there's a lot of downtime in siege to add insult to injury a game like car soccer rocket league has has this feature what's insane is black ops 1 a game that came out back in like 2010 has had theater mode why, when Siege came out, did we not have match replay? And also, why did we not have a clear-cut version of match replay with free cam? We're just now getting it in year eight, and I'm actually wondering how the hell did Black Ops 1 have a more fluent, more consistent, more just overall better match replay than Siege? Siege only came out five years later. You would assume that they would have better technology to capture the game. Not only that, maybe it's because I guess, you know, we're, we're dealing with a lot more technical stuff overall, or maybe it's because they just didn't think about it. Now, when I do videos like this, I usually make a tweet just to get some ideas, just in case I don't miss anything and I, and I can get good ideas. Osaf replied saying he wanted secondary gadgets to have skins. Barbed wire, bulletproof cams, shields, etc. Let me show you what I mocked up in like five minutes in Photoshop. Yep, this is an Ember Rise shield. Would you guys really want secondary gadget skins? Let me know down in the comments. Something I've really wanted since the dawn of Siege is skin variations. And that's before I ever played Rocket League and saw just how great skin variations could be. Could you imagine Black Ice if it was orange or if it was just black which i guess is technically glacier or if it was like red stuff like this just gives the game more playability and for example makes alpha packs bravo packs all of that way more fun to open because right now i feel like we're kind of in this loop where you have most of the skins if you've been playing the game for years and for me it kind of just sucks because you're only playing ranked for ranked and for me being a content creator it's cool but like there's no hype behind you know opening packs and whatnot um besides maybe pulling a black ice so i don't know ubisoft i know we're eight years in but you know come on help us out you want the game to last 10 more years give us give us some variations for skins or give us something that allows us to either trade up duplicates or trade it to friends or something like that and i understand you're definitely worried about you know scammers and people you know uh the, the market behind that that's cool but there's already account selling that is a huge problem in the siege com especially when it comes to people you know stealing accounts pulling accounts this is something that you'll see regularly on twitter so i don't know give some value to people you know that's why i love cs so much because i can you know have a great inventory or trade up skins and then get a better skin and it overall would just be great man here's something i'm absolutely bamboozled that we still don't have eight years into siege and especially like just even starting out why didn't siege add this why don't they have a filter for charms and skins or even just a way that you can kind of sort skins that you prefer and even charms no matter the rarity that doesn't really matter also besides that i would also like to see classes for your skins so what's very annoying is having if you're a competitive player or you're playing in any leagues there's a lot of skins that are banned and i'm not just talking about pro league if you play on console there's tons of tournaments that ban you know certain types of skins like ember rise and it's the same on pc so it's kind of annoying having to go through every single goddamn operator going through their headgear um and everything else and just taking off certain specific skins it's also very tiring and it almost devalues the whole purpose of having skins on your account in general you know so ubisoft add a filtering system for you know say competitive or you know just custom in general maybe you want to be silly one game and you know you rock the monty pink b april fools thing or maybe one day i just want to rock the monty elite and you know i don't want to go through all of that or maybe i want to equip all with the garfield as dog charm which you guys can get now by subscribing on twitch <laughs> that, that plug is insane 
this is a really simple one that every single goddamn game has um and i'm gonna tell you a story back in year three to five i used to play with my friend sudo and this man is colorblind and this is around the time that capcan still had the lasers if you guys know what i mean so that that's a clear indication of like you know the edd but this guy was colorblind so he literally just wouldn't see it or he would see it as a different color and it, it would literally just confuse the hell out of him and he would hit these edds all the freaking time see why don't you have colorblind mode do you do you hate people that can't see certain colors like what's going on like yes yeah, a colorblind mode eight years into the game here's a crazy one for me ubisoft did not ever think to add operator mastery levels now what i mean by operator mastery levels is say i play x amount of games with thermite so i should get xp and get levels and without with those levels i should be able to unlock different cosmetics different you know skins maybe at a certain level i maybe even get a free elite skin or a very unique skin and it should go up and up and up say to like maybe level 1000 or something like that kind of like just your regular level that literally doesn't mean anything but with this it actually means something you every season they would update it and you would get more unique stuff and more prizes and for example for opening proper walls or by getting a certain amount of plants or actually doing your job as an operator you would get xp and you would get certain types of prizes and it, like it, it's just so simple like even like player cards like weapon skins like there's so much you can do with operator operator like levels so why don't we do this there's so many people that take pride in maining certain operators like jagger or ash for example from the year one days or even now like hard reach rules or support players so you, you was like you're missing out on a key thing that would make people play your game 20 times more next i would say is custom game cheats you know how cool it would be for me to have five jaggers or five you know ashes or whatever in a custom game like we we have custom games and a lot of people utilize this especially on console they play a lot of bunker wars so if they're able to use that dry ass custom game to make the game fun and fulfilling why don't we take it one step further and make it a little bit more wacky on valorant you can literally use cheats what, what what's it called and have like low gravity unlimited hp unlimited um gadgets stuff like that like siege is so unique when it comes to operator abilities so why not take advantage of that i've done so many versus videos and when i started doing versus videos i really wished i, I was able to do five of one operator like five jaeger mains versus five ash mains like stuff like that would just in it just make sense it, it would be so fun just to watch and just to do overall so like hey Ubisoft, hey, step up! Next, I would definitely have to say, once again, going back into the custom games, is being able to swap in between operators, take down reinforcements, place reinforcements, and almost have like a unlimited reinforcement pool just so you can kind of visualize site setups. I've done many site setup videos that literally taken me hours, guys, and I really wish I was able to literally swap in between operators and give you guys full site setups. But to be honest, that just takes way too freaking long. And it's it's super frustrating because it's something that should be in the game. I should be able to explain a clubhouse defense and swap in between the operators to explain where they place their utility and why and why they play a certain way. Or on the flip side, I should explain how to attack, what positions you need to be playing and be able to simultaneously swap in between operators. But with all the downtime and loading time with Siege, that's nearly impossible without spending literally 10 hours literally 10 hours to record footage just swapping in between operators and then explaining it it's just very fatiguing and tiring there should also be a profile page tab section that basically just highlights your operators played your match history your favorite operators your most efficient operators basically r6 tracker and r6 tab in game without having to leave your game and go on a web browser to do so it only makes sense you know what I'm sick of seeing in the Siege Com for content creators? Everybody using these inspect like guns uh, from like CSGO gloves and arms and hands. It's it just, it's it, I don't know. It's just so overdone. But that goes into my next point when it comes down to inspecting your guns. There's so many great gun skins in Siege, especially when it comes to these team skins 
which outsource great artists to you know literally make these skins but the problem is a lot of the like animation and a lot of the coolness is on the end of the gun which you can't even see like around like the stock area so it'd be really cool if i can just inspect my gun and just see what it looks like overall that's that would be also amazing for content creators just to get very creative with thumbnails because thumbnails are kind of like one and the same people just kind of work off one another and just kind of copy it's kind of just bland it's still queuing a lot on console recently and if you've ever played on console you would know getting comms is very difficult i sometimes will have like mic bug glitches where i can't even talk and the only way to get it back is to restart my game or my xbox and it's kind of frustrating i think there should be quick commands in siege for example like i've seen dock players and just just such silly guys not using their utility it, like literally his hard reaches so when i'm running thatcher or something or if i need health i should be able to be like yo hard breach this wall or give me health or you know something like that like use your utility it, it would just make more sense especially for a lot of the women that play this game you know there's a lot of toxicity when it comes to gamer girls so for the girls that don't want to talk and deal with that quick commands is going to be your best option or just little kids in general or just people in general that maybe just don't have a mic or just don't want to talk because of a uh, multiple number of reasons there should be some level of co communication when it comes to quick commands it would make life 10 times easier and it would make the experience for siege just so much better ranked has been very flawed since the dawn of siege and that's not okay we definitely need some changes in my personal opinion i think that there should be win by two not win by one in overtime because it, it's just not fair there's so many games where you know you'll get like a really good competitive game and you just lose by one and it's the most draining feeling in the goddamn world there should be a win by two rule and then you might be able to even you know vote to draw if the game goes on and on and on uh overall it would just make sense it would make ranked feel more competitive overall and it would definitely improve the ranking system instead of the way that is played now where you know it's 5-4 or you know 4-2 or 4-0 it's just i don't know it doesn't make the game feel as competitive as it should be in my personal opinion let's speed run some console ones for example dead zones for some reason you can only have dead zones on 5-5 i don't know if there's a specific reason for that but i think it's the silliest thing ever especially when i play controller it's just you feel almost limited not having that basic capability of just swapping it down if you wanted to but I'm pretty sure the reason why that is, is because dead zones go by fives instead of goes by one, two, three, four, five. I saw this comment and that's why I'm mentioning this in this video, but I could be wrong. So let me know down in the comments when it comes to dead zones, guys. Besides that, instead of dead zones, I would really like to see leaning without ADSing. This, this should have been a thing since the, this, the beginning of Siege. It just doesn't make sense why it wasn't added. You can say that there wasn't buttons and that's cool and all but like if you ever played any other games like mortal kombat and stuff like that you literally will have to put in combinations to do certain types of moves so why wouldn't you just be able to do that on a controller like for example if i want to lean to the left i can just hold down a and x without adsing or if i want to lean to the right uh i press y and b at the same time really quickly just to get that movement down and then once you know controllers start advancing like elite series uh, two, uh ones and twos and all of that and people can actually add paddles onto their own basic controllers you can just make it a paddle button because right now like if you know anything when it comes to peaking on console and then if you've played pc you know you're very limited in terms of your movement just because of this kicking people out of your squad instead of having to leave it is so simple every freaking game has it i think it, like even games on the xbox 360 had this so simple just just please we're gonna speed run some of these really quick animated skins everybody wants it everybody wants a reason to buy more skins and you know grind for the game so animated skins very simple sensitivity for controller vel cams maestro cams just cams in general there was a bug on vel cams for the longest time where it was basically unusable to use vel cams if you're trying to give an accurate uh, z ping on the flip side right now even now when i do play console and i'm using twitch bravo um or maestro the cams are so freaking fast and you know if you're using twitch or bravo you need to be dead accurate with some utility so i i don't know like thumbsticks are not accurate to aim in and like give, give us something man give us some type of flexibility in terms of like using controller like console is your biggest fan base 
and player base so give them more leeway to just play the game more enjoyably so that was 18 different things that should have been added at so that was 18 different things that should have been added at the start of Rainbow Six Siege. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and some things that I might have missed because there's a loads of things that I could have added into this video, but I didn't want to make it longer than around 16 minutes. So yeah, thank you guys so much for making this part of the video and have a great day.